Flat Earth Clues, Part 10, Hiding God. This is part of a series of clues that can help you get your head around both the design of the flat earth system we live in and who has been involved in the deception to hide it from you. As you can tell from the title, I'm taking a different approach. Eventually, I was going to have to address the question of what happens next or what we do now with the information at hand. If you've made it through the guide and the first nine clues, then at this point you're either buying into the flat model or on the fence. If this is the first one you went to because of the title, I recommend you go back because we're not going to do much in the way of reviewing. But if you're still with me, then you would agree that one, the world you've been taught has been kept from you, and two, one way or another, you would like to prove this out. So how is this possible? The authority in question who created what you call the globe is guarding all the gates. They protect the sky, the outer edge, and most importantly, the education system that shows us at an early age what they want us to see. Nobody listening to this has their own spaceship or advanced rocket program. Nobody actually owns a long-distance icebreaker. And while some of you may have a private plane, I wouldn't recommend testing a military barrier that technically doesn't exist. But then again, you have to remember that this is not the story of David and Goliath. The hidden world was never going to be sustainable forever. As a civilization evolves, the tools the authority uses as a method of control become more vulnerable. I've learned many things about systems over the years, and one thing that I find most interesting is as layers of strength increase, the higher the chance that they can be used to your advantage. But maybe I'm talking in riddles. I should be boiling it down to what can be done by showing you what's being hidden, what's important, and how it can be spread to others without looking like a crazy person. To be clear, and I can't stress this enough, do not start conversations with the word flat earth. Think of it like fight club. The first rule of flat club is that you do not talk about flat club. Before you started waking up and watching all these things, you were like me. You laughed and mocked everything that was flat earth. You may have learned faster than others, but the knee-jerk reaction by 99% of the people was created the day they sat down in a classroom and stared at the globe. Look at the videos, not just mine, but others who are putting forward some great arguments, and ask the questions that people can relate to. I'm going to introduce three very important questions that you can use each with a statement that precedes it, and each statement is a motivation for a different group of people. If you don't fall into one of these three groups, then I guarantee you know people that do. The first statement is this, you are being hidden. What do I mean by that? Well, this goes back to clue seven and clue nine, which talk about the flights in the Southern Hemisphere. If you are flying a plane over the Southern Hemisphere, your flight is not being tracked. How can this be used to find out the truth? It's simple, it's quick, and it costs no money. No matter what country you live in, send a quick note to your local, state, or federal representative and ask them this question. Why are citizens of our country flying over oceans without the safety net of the GPS system? And remind them that GPS stands for global, not partial. Without GPS, Anything could happen to your plane, and no one knows where you are. And while you're at it, remind them that the GPS system was built by the United States Department of Defense, who never does anything small. The system that is in effect now has what appears to be huge, deliberate gaps in the Southern Hemisphere only. Do not mention Flat Earth. Just voice your concern about the safety of you, your loved ones, and your fellow citizens. Will they get back to you? Possibly. 
Will they give you a satisfactory answer? Not a chance. Because they will only have what the military gives them. What this will do, however, is create a unique buzz in certain circles that may prove to be useful later. The more politicians or high-ranking officials you contact, the greater the noise. The motivation here, as you can tell, is general public concern. The second statement is this. Wealth is being hidden. What do I mean by that? Goes back to clue two and every other mention regarding Antarctica. In 1954, it was announced on national television that the continent was just millions of miles of rich energy resources. And by 1959, it was sealed off like Area 51. How can this be used to find out the truth? By contacting anyone you know in either the petroleum, natural gas, or mineral industry. This means ExxonMobil, British Petroleum, Royal Dutch Shell, Chevron, ConocoPhillips, BHP Billiton, Rio Tinto, Glencore, Anglo-American, and there are many others. Find anyone in these companies and make inquiries about their prospects in Antarctica. Send them the link to the Admiral Byrd interview and ask them why if there are no environmental conflicts regarding oil, gas, or mining, why aren't they allowed to even petition the idea, even when the world's energy resources are dwindling more every day? Put the sound of money in their ear. They may not be able to break through the decades of red tape laid out in front of them, but it will create a buzz from a different side, the motivation of greed and of pristine resources just begging to be harvested. And finally, to preface the third statement, I need to thank all the people who have sent me stacks and stacks of biblical scripture, asking me to stop dancing around the title of the flat model and call the structure what it really is. And you know, they have a point. I have put myself at a distance because I want to reach people who are outside of religious faith and even outside of general conspiracies. But for all those spiritual groups who have contacted me, I can now, however, say with conviction that this third statement is this. They are hiding God. Despite what labels I put on the flat model structure, the oldest names are from the oldest texts, one of those being called the firmament. If the firmament was indeed discovered in 1956, and it was deliberately hidden, then the ruling authority not only hid the structure, but evidence of the builders, and by builders I mean creators, and by that I mean what people define as God. Hiding God could be considered one of the worst ideas of all time, and if you are a person of great or small faith, you have a vested interest in any evidence that would solidify and vindicate your years of dedicated service. If a structure was found that had, for all intents and purposes, the handprint of God on it, then the ruling authority has no right to keep it from you. There are billions of people on this world who have personally dealt with the concept of God and would like to know for sure if these beliefs are well placed, or, in short, you want to know the meaning of life. It's out there, and it's been hidden from you. Your motivation is clear. Go to your church leaders, your congregation, and tell them science probably found evidence of God in 1956 and decided to keep it a secret. If you know people of religious power, send this up the ladder. Get the word out and see what comes back. Between these three statements and questions, people will talk to people who will talk with others and eventually reach someone who knows. This isn't a grassroot or groundswell movement that takes a long time, because the system that has been used to mold and control you these past years has been based on speed, and by that I mean real time. All it takes is a single video. 
a memorandum, one whistleblower, one key person, and everything changes, not in months or weeks or days, but hours. And in those hours, everything changes because of the speed. People all over the world wake up and look at the sky with new eyes, and things start to get better. One person, that's all it takes. One person to come forward and share what has been hidden for so long. Maybe someone who is tired of all the games. Maybe someone who has gone year after year burdened by such a heavy secret. Maybe you, who are listening right now, who is looking for a reason to come forward. This is it. And if you don't want to walk into the light and be the hero, I understand. But if you can't, for whatever reason, then be anonymous. Share the message and help us make this world better because it can be better. For everyone else, give this person an opening. Give them the opportunity and give them the support they need to help reclaim what's left of our civilization because we need it now more than ever. I will keep spreading the word for as long as I can in hopes that everyone that hears it starts seeing things with new eyes and I encourage each of you to do the same and maybe one day we will learn to treat others better than we treat ourselves.